Welcome back to Winter Treats. Today we're going to do a nice hearty venison dish. Of course, for all those hunters out there who do a bit of deer stalking, then of course you could use your wild venison that you actually catch, or if you're into some of the farm-raised venison you can now buy readily in the supermarkets, you could use that as well. So it's got three components to it. We're going to be poaching um, some pears in red wine and then using the red wine to make a sauce. We're going to be making a little potato and mushroom croquette to serve with our venison. And we're going to put a nice um, spicy crust on our venison loin as well. So that's the first thing I'm going to work on is the spicy crust. So in my mortar here I've got some pink, white, green and black peppercorns with some coarse sea salt. So I just actually want to just break those down. We can go as fine as we want or we can just go as coarse as we want. That's just going to be up to your preference. So I just want to get a wee bit of pressure on there to break them up, get those flavours mixed together and then we're going to dust this on to our venison loin. So what I need to do is also get a fry pan on the stove which I've got some oil in, so we want to get that nice and hot so we can get a nice sear on our venison loin. And this is some um, venison from um, Fair Game, which is a local um, company. So I've got that crushed down to where I want it. I've got my nice piece of venison loin here, so I'm just going to sprinkle that peppercorn and salt mixture over the top and then turn it over and repeat it on the other side and then that's going to go into our hot fry pan so we'll pretty sure that's ready to go so we want to get that nice and seared while that's going I'm going to peel my pear so we want to get rid of all the skin off our pear and what I've already got on the stove is a pot of red wine which I've brought to the heat and then I've just turned it down just to a light simmer so then when we put our pear in we're going to just poach it in the pear for a nice length of time and it's going to soak up all those flavours of the red wine it's also going to change colour as well and give us a nice pear that is soaked in red wine to go with our venison. So what I do is just want to cut the, the base off and then I'm just going to cut it into quarters and this just helps with the cooking process. Cut the central stem out and we'll just check on our piece of venison Turn it over, you can see that crust, we've got a nice crust of those peppercorns on the outside. And then I'm just going to remove the central area where the seeds are within our pear. Just take those out. And then they're going to pop into our red wine, which I've just got sitting here ready to go. Oops, and I've dropped it into the wrong one, but we'll take that out of there and pop it into there. So there's our pears going in our red wine. I'm going to take my venison off and I've got a tray set up here with a cooling rack on top so we can pop that into the oven for our venison to roast. So we've got our pear on poaching, we've got our venison in cooking, we're then going to move on to our croquette. Now of course croquettes are a classic dish. This one I'm going to put some mushrooms into it. So I've already got in here some pre-mashed potato which I've just boiled, mashed with a bit of um, butter and a wee bit of milk and then I've got some field mushrooms which I just fried off in some butter and nicely seasoned. So they're going to go in with the potatoes and we want to mix those all together. Now with a croquette you can just do a straight potato croquette, you don't have to make it a mushroom one but I find the earthiness of the mushrooms goes really nice with the venison and you can make any sort of croquettes you like. So we've now got that mixture ready to go. Now what I've got here is some dried breadcrumbs, some flour and a mixture of egg and milk which is known as our egg wash. So I'm now going to take our potato and mushroom mixture 
and I'm going to form it into the croquette shape, which is basically a little cylinder. So we're just going to make, probably make two of these I think. So we've just got a nice little cylinder shape. We'll just do another one there, the same size. Now you could make these ahead of time, have them all crumbed ready to go, have them sitting in your fridge, and then all you need to do is deep fry them. Now I'm using a pot with some oil in it that we're going to deep fry in. If you've got your own deep fryer then you're fine. Just when you're doing deep frying in a pot you've got to make sure that the oil doesn't get too hot and basically um, you've got to keep an eye on it because it's got no thermostat on it to control the actual heat. So what we do now is we roll the croquettes in the flour. That's going to protect our mixture. Then into our mixture of egg wash and or our egg wash, which is eggs and milk, and then into our crumbs. So they're nicely coated. So then we'll do the second one. Into our crumbs. Give my hands a nice wash. Oh, let's give ourselves some room. A bit of a right, so I've got my pot of oil here ready to go. So I'm going to pop in my croquettes. And it's just the right temperature. Now if you're making these at home, of course, the potato would still be quite hot. Um, so all we're doing is just crisping up the outside. So it's as easy as that. I would normally have a bit of um, paper towel to soak up any of that excess fat that's come out of our croquettes. And here's my pears here that I've actually poached ahead of time. So you can probably see how they've soaked up all that nice red wine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice them so we can actually see inside we've got that nice contrast of where the pear itself is, the white, and then where the red wine is soaked into. So we'll give myself nice five slices of the of the pear, we'll set those to the side. Now what I've also done is I've taken some of the, the poaching liquid and I've reduced it down. So once the pears are actually cooked then there is our little red wine syrup we're actually going to serve with our venison. So here's our piece of venison. So this has just been resting. So nice and medium rare, just how we like it. So we're going to put our venison onto the plate. Put our couple of croquettes. And then on goes our nice red wine poached pears. And then we just take our nice little syrup, and it is a syrup, and we just pour that over the top just to finish it. So a really winter warming dish. We'll sit that there. So there is our seared venison with our poached pears and red wine, red wine syrup, and our little mushroom and potato croquettes.